हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टू थ्री बिस फोस्फो ग्लिसरेट पाथवे विद द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स इंट्रोडक्शन टू थ्री बिस फोस्फो ग्लिसरेट फॉर्मेशन पाथवे देन सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस पाथवे दैट इंक्लूड्स इफेक्ट ऑफ टू थ्री बिस फोस्फो ग्लिसरेट इन ऑक्सीजन ऑफ लोडिंग देन सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस टू थ्री बिस फोस्फो ग्लिसरेट इन स्पेशल कंडीशंस then next 2 3 bpg and fetal hemoglobin and last 2 3 bpg and stored blood we'll start with introduction formation of 2 3 bis phosphoglycerate was first described and isolated in 1925 by rapoport and his assistant luebring that is why it is also called as rapoport luebring pathway it is also known as bis phosphoglycerate shunt and this cycle occurs in erythrocytes means rbcs now we'll see the 2 3 bis phosphoglycerate formation pathway as i said it occurs in rbcs glucose in glycolytic pathway is converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate then this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate will be converted into 1,3 bis phosphoglycerate by glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase with the help of nad and phosphate then this 1,3 bis phosphoglycerate will be converted into 3 phosphoglycerate by phosphoglycerate kinase and one atp is formed so this is the usual glycolytic pathway but in this pathway 1,3 bis phosphoglycerate will be isomerized to 2,3 bis phosphoglycerate by bis phosphoglycerate mutase so this is how 2,3 bis phosphoglycerate is generated and then this 2,3 bis phosphoglycerate will be hydrolyzed to 3 phosphoglycerate by 2,3 bis phosphoglycerate phosphatase So in normal glycolytic pathway there is formation of ATP but no ATP is formed in rapoport luebring cycle there is a delicate balance between the need to generate ATP to support energy requirement and the need to maintain appropriate level of 2,3 BPG and this balance is maintained by isomerization of 1,3 BPG to 2,3 BPG Now we'll see the significance of this rapoport luebring cycle and the main function is effect of 2,3 BPG on oxygen offloading. Now see this diagram carefully. One molecule of 2,3 BPG binds to a pocket formed by the two beta globin chains in the center of deoxyhemoglobin tetramer. The pocket contains several positively charged amino acids. that form ionic bonds or you can say salt bridges with negatively charged phosphate groups of 2,3 BPG. Three amino acid residues of each beta chain are involved in this binding. And these are valine at first position, lysine at 82nd position and histidine at 143rd position. remember these three amino acids that can be asked in mcq binding of 2,3 bpg decreases the oxygen affinity of hemoglobin so that more o2 is released and delivered to the tissues this preferential binding stabilizes the t conformation of deoxyhemoglobin as 2,3 bpg significantly reduces the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen there is shifting of oxygen dissociation curve to the right side and second function of 2,3 BPG is it act as a buffer now we'll see the significance of 2,3 BPG in special conditions the concentration of 2,3 BPG in RBCs increases first in response to chronic hypoxia occurs in smoking that causes the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and emphysema second in high altitudes 
when circulating hemoglobin may have difficulty receiving sufficient oxygen and also there is polycythemia and third in chronic anemia in which fewer than the normal rbcs are available to supply the body's oxygen need increased 2-3 bpg also seen in other conditions like exercise pregnancy alkalosis and chemical like inosine remember that in alkalosis increases in 2-3 bpg and in acidosis there is decrease in 2-3 bpg so in all these conditions oxygen delivery to the tissues is decreased but high 2-3 bpg will help in offloading of oxygen and increases the oxygen delivery to the tissues Now we'll see the 2-3 BPG and fetal hemoglobin. Fetal hemoglobin consists of 2 alpha and 2 gamma chain instead of beta chain of adult hemoglobin. So the fetal hemoglobin binds 2-3 BPG less strongly than adults. The reason is beta chain of adult hemoglobin have histidine at 143rd position and gamma chain of fetal hemoglobin have serine at 143rd position. So the fetal hemoglobin has higher affinity for oxygen than adult hemoglobin. This is actually beneficial. In pregnancy, increase in 2-3 BPG concentration will cause reduction in the oxygen affinity of hemoglobin on the maternal side of placenta. On other hand, Fetal hemoglobin binds less strongly to 2,3 BPG and has higher affinity for oxygen. This will facilitate the transport of oxygen across the placenta from mother to fetus. At last, we will see 2,3 BPG and stored blood. When blood is stored, its glucose content is rapidly metabolized. So there is significantly decrease in 2-3 BPG level. Therefore the oxygen affinity of the stored blood increases drastically. Such blood when transfused does not deliver oxygen adequately to the recipient tissues and will lead to hypoxia. To solve this problem, rejuvenate solution can be added that contains phosphate, inosine, pyruvate, adenine and glucose. This rejuvenate solution by glycolytic pathway increases the level of 2,3 BPG and also ATP. 2,3 BPG cannot be used directly as it does not enter the RBCs. So this is all about the 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate pathway. If you find this video informative then please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel. Thank you.